Hello everyone, this is a rant. This is actually going to be a rant. And this rant is a very special thank you to Neo Saban Power Rangers, their channel. Their channel has lots of stuff from it actually having some clips to actually checking out the toys and everything else. And I'm sorry to say this, but dude, they're doing better than Cup of Water 03, aka miss not mystic force my gosh aka morphin legacy and plus i don't even remember morphin legacy putting up stuff now it's like okay yeah it's kind of weird it's like uh but still these guys are cool they allow me to actually use their videos well video clips to actually do this review so i'm glad i mean not review but rant and i'm glad thank you for that too bad while i'm doing this review i mean doing this rant not review I think there's two other Zords that are unaccounted for that's repainted. So, yeah, that's all I can say. I can't tell which ones. I know it's Parazord, and I think the Parazord is going to be turned green. And there's another one which I kind of forgot. It escaped me which one it was. Anyways, let's get on with the rent, shall we? So the rent today is why the hell are you making recolor of the Zords? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Saban's America, come on. I mean, Bandai America, come on. You guys just freaking made the damn, <clears throat> excuse me, the damn Ammonite Zord and Dinosaurus Zord. How come can't you make more Zords? My gosh, instead, you guys decided to be like, oh, you know the rapper Zord? Yeah, we're gonna turn it red. Why in the world are you gonna turn it red? Oh, so it can march the Dino Charge Megazord. And what's worse is that even if that was their dumb idea, the red they use for this raptor is not the same as the freaking T-Rex Zord. Which is totally like, dude, if that was what you're going for, you guys freaking damn screwed the freak up. It's like, you guys screwed the freak up. And I can kind of understand and forgive the whole Ammonite Zord release. The only reason is because I would think maybe the Ammonite Zord color before, this is before I even found out everyone else is getting recolors. Some are getting recolors and re-released. I thought Ammonite Zord was basically one of the ones that's like, oh, frick. Look at the color of the Anglo Zord and look at the Ammonite Zord. Holy sh! They're the same color. Oh, we gotta change it quick. So they stopped the presses on the other one and they released this new one where it's actually a brand new blue instead of using a blue that they already use. Looking at it now, I think technically this is a blue that they're using for Anglozord. So it looks like they match now instead of what I thought they were doing, which is making sure it doesn't match. So that's just the weird thing of it all. It's like, what the frig? And then you have freaking Pachyzord, which Pachyzord I can kind of understand because, and plus I don't really know me, let me look. I have the video right now of theirs before I even did anything. Did they actually show it? No, they don't show it with it. Yeah, they don't show the one where the Pachyzord is on the new Plesio Charge Megazord. <clears throat> so, I think this might be the same purple. On the other hand, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I think chances are it might not even be the same purple. But I think for purposes of, oh, they match. They decided to put this Pachyzord in purple so it could actually match the color, which is still like, what the frick are you guys thinking? What the frick are you guys thinking about? Oh, boy. So... Let's see, I talked about the Raptor, I talked about the Packy Zord, talked about Omni Zord. There's two more Zords I forgot. One of them's most likely the Para Charge Para Zord, which is now green instead of black. At first I kind of thought, oh, so they're doing Dino Thunder again? Yeah, let me guess. So this is so you're releasing this Packy Zord and releasing the Para Zord in the freaking Dino I mean Dino Thunder colors. So when it comes to releasing Dino Thunder again, you guys will be like, oh, we already released those. You guys can just get them from Dino Charge. There you go. It's like, what the frick, really? Really, man? Really? You guys are gonna do that underhanded move? Not only that, but I think now Dino Charge, I mean Dino Thunder will most likely be released 
in Legacy line. And that's going to be years. It's going to take years for it to be released. So, I don't think it's for that. But if it is, it's like, dude, what the f <laughs> What the hell? Of course, I know what the real reason is. Because they want to freaking damn make money. Instead of making money and making a difference. It's like, let's look at the freaking Omnite Zord and Dinosicus. Of course, as you guys can see, it's not really a video movie. Not anything there. It's just whatever. But the Omnite Zord and the Dinosicus Zord. The people who love Super Sentai will look over here and look at those Zords and say, holy sh, they made Zords for them. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to freaking damn buy them. You know what else is going to happen? When it comes to the Graphite Ranger, the Aqua Ranger, Purple, and Talon. I think there was one more I'm missing. Oh, yeah, and the Silver Ranger. All five of those didn't have a release in Japan. You know what that means? That means, you freaking damn idiots, that Japan would also be interested, or the people who are watching, either people who are fans of Super Sentai or the people who actually watch Power Rangers are fans of it and most likely will get their hands on those toys by any means necessary, even though not all means necessary. So it's like, dude, make more freaking new Zords. And for those who are like, oh, but they, they ran out of ideas, there's no way to do it. It's like, dude, Check this out and insert this this in image. So, bef for people who don't know what happened in Dino Charge or basically in the predecessor K. Rouger, this is what happened. Is that all 25 of them actually had Zord representations of them. But sadly, due to the bad guy, the bad guy killed like at least 13 of them. 13 of them? I think it was 13. Yeah, so he killed 13 of them. And, um, Brogigas, a.k.a. the Silver Zord, the Silver Ranger Zord, actually cried tears and sur made them survive by having those ambers of them. And they were also made, able to make Dino Chargers of them, or whatever. But anyways, the idea is this, is that in that freaking damn scene where everything was gonna go to crap, they showed three Zords there. Three Zords that are most likely able to be reproduced. You don't even need to reimagine them like Omnite Zord or Dinosicus. They're actually there. The only thing you gotta figure out is how to make them look different from their predecessors or their cousin modes. So here we go. You got the first one right there, the Triceratops, which is not even Triceratops. It is called the Strikosaurus or whatever. Anyways, that one, a.k.a. Dino Cupid Charger. We actually have an image of Dino Cupid Charger. We could actually get a mold. All you got to do is basically make a new mold for the head. Then after that, I figured out how you can actually make the tail different. It's the tail, instead of looking like the drill, like the Pink Ranger Zord, instead, it's going to actually look like an arrow. And behind it, like the tail where it starts the drill, will actually be a heart. Yeah, a heart forms. So you have the two ends of the heart right there, and you can just make it look like an arrow. And as soon as you make it look like an arrow, all you gotta do now is just make it so that the charger, when put in that Zord, actually shoots the tail off. So the tail actually shoots off. If you're able to pull that off, Congratulations, you have a brand new Zord, and guess what? The freaking Japanese audience will be like, holy shizel, we want that freaking damn toy. And that's how you freaking get more money, you dumb bastards. Is that so damn hard? Another one is Dino Blaze Charger, my favorite. Even Dino Blaze Charger actually got a Zord form peaked out. I think they might actually have even more Zords looked at, but sadly, I can only find these three. But anyway, so the Dino Blaze Charger. This one actually looks like the Spinal Zord, which I bet chances are you guys already have that one. Yeah, you guys have that one in waiting. I know you guys do. So what you're going to do is basically recolor that one, but instead of having that fin on the back of its back, you'll cut off the fin and just leave it as is. Maybe even change the facial print a little bit. And then, hmm, how to make it look like it's going to shoot fire or blaze out. 
I guess the only idea would be like what you guys did with the whole Plesio Charge Megazord. The fact that if you put in a Dino Charger, it will pop up some missiles. So same concept, except instead of missiles, you're going to have flames on the side of them. So it's like maybe put flames on his legs or put flames on his back or just have them like around him or something like that. So when you pushed it in, he'll just show blazing. Yeah, so he have himself blazing like that. I have no idea what you could do. I guess chances are maybe just have him as a actual Megazord too. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, you got a Spinal Zord and now you have Allosaurus Zord. Yeah, Allo Zord or whatever you want to call it. So there you go. You got another freaking damn Megazord you can create. And I don't know. You can do something with the blast. You can make it look kind of cool if you have like blasters or something. So yeah, give them blasters. Give them some kind of missile launcher thing. And then there you go. Look at that. Another freaking Zord that you repainted. But it actually goes with what freaking was seen. And of course, let me say... <clears throat> You know, the Chargers basically explain what they what color they are. Last but not least, sadly, you guys did it because of Zord Builder. You guys are freaking whores. So, you got freaking damn Zord Builder and you got freaking damn Dino Bikes. The Dino Bikes can already be used for the freaking damn Megazord. Even though they are crappily used, you still have a representation of them. But in the series itself, you actually do have the freaking Dino Cycle aka dino suckus 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 i'm sorry i'm i'm kind of sleepy so yeah i'm going to mispronounce names anyways when it comes straight to that it's like dude you guys just released a freaking raptor repainted all you technically had to do is just get freaking damn yellow yeah get yellow in that get the raptor turn the raptor yellow instead of red then after that you would basically figure out some way shape or form well sadly we don't even know what the freaking dino bike what's his power is we have no i freaking damn deal we seriously don't i mean the dino bike is used to summon the dino bike but chances are he had most likely some power other than the dino bike and that is when you actually have to go to freaking damn either Japan or go to the people who wrote K. Ruger and ask, hey, so Charger 12, if it was a Zord, what would be a special attack? And if they're just going to say something about wheels, then there you go. You just got to smack some wheels onto the Zord and then there you go. <laughs> yeah, you get rid of that claw motion. Chances are, I would say maybe just turn it into like a saber-like thing. Yeah, just have his tail shoot out and it become like a saber or a spear or some kind of crap. But it's, I don't know. I don't know what power it could have. Technically, what you could do also, but you guys never do. You you guys most likely never do this because it's like for some reason, it's like truly really hard for you to actually be like, yeah, we need some ideas. We need some ideas. It's like, hey, let's go call the people who originally thought of this stuff and ask them. It's like, dude, that's so freaking damn easy. It's like, yeah, it's like, my gosh, you guys can call freaking damn Toei Productions. I know they might be busy, but you could have someone who was a writer of K. Ruger and he's like, ah, uh, I quit. And then you could actually call him and ask him and most likely they can bring the band together or he could actually do his own digging and figure out all the Zords that are missing, that are new. And then as soon as they you guys call him back or he actually calls you back he'll actually tell you all the things that you need to know about those zords and then you can actually make new molds for him even though chances are what you guys are doing here is just since you guys got the molds you want to sell more of them so you can actually get more money i get it but if you do this option if you actually release new molds and slash new zords not only you have American audiences, American consumers buying your stuff. But you even have Japan over there who are like, dude, we didn't get those Zord releases. And they will actually pay as well. Thus, ta-da, there's your freaking damn money you want grubbing a lot. There you go, you bastards. 
But instead, no, you come to repainting. You become repainters. Hey everyone, this is Red. Sorry about that. You come repainters and you actually repaint crap. That is just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Well, anyways, thank you for watching and this really, 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 really pisses me off. I mean, seriously, it's like, my gosh, you, you guys never did repaints before. Given, yes, you did the Black Series, but repainting your own Zords? That's freaking damn Hasbro's job, the re-freaking issue repaints. Your job is just to freaking release Zords. That's it. No freaking damn repainting. But you guys freaking damn repainted, and that's messed up. Really is messed up.